All right, hello, welcome back. All right, so my name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science, but enough about me. Let's get into this topic. All right, so today, what we're gonna be doing is movement. So movement and motors, they're two different things. Yes, movement as well includes motors, but this one's used more for steering. So in order to make the robot go like this, like this, you know, to turn, just, you know, just the basic controls. All right, so first, let's remember that a lot of, this is only to control two motors. You can't control more than two, only two. You know, it's like, for example, you have one that controls four, you, you can't, you could do it, but that you would have to use way more different logic and way more complex things. But just to keep it simple, we're just gonna be using it as for steering and we're gonna go around that. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first function I'm gonna talk about is the move. So this one, you have the option to either go forward or backwards. And as well as before as motors, you have the option to move based on rotations, degrees, and seconds. So for this one, it's gonna go, it's gonna go for example, one rotation right now, and then it's gonna stop. It's gonna stop one, it's gonna stop. And then for degrees, for example, if I were to be like, all right, for 90 degrees, what that's gonna do is gonna turn for 90 degrees and it's gonna stop. Simple as that. And as well for seconds, obviously, if I put 90 seconds, it's gonna go on for 90 seconds and then it's gonna stop. You know, think about it as a timer. So the next one is this one, this one, this one's a little bit different, but still pretty much similar. So what this does, for example, you're like, okay, I know I could go forward and backwards, but how do I turn? This is where it comes a good using. Okay, so right here, you have the option, think about it as it's, think about it, it feels like your steering wheel, okay? You can turn left or right, you know? So you have that option. So for this one, for example, I was like, okay, I wanna, I wanna turn to the, to the right, you know? And it's like, okay, I want it to only rotate one degree. So it's gonna rotate, and then as soon as it turns, it's gonna stop, you know? Or for degrees, for seconds, you know? You have the option to move based on whatever direction you want, you know? Obviously you can't put it backwards as you can see, you can only turn. So so it's, I guess it could be limiting, but realistically, you could always go backwards. <laughs> okay, so now you can start moving. So what this is gonna do, this is gonna move in a certain direction. So what this is gonna do is that, for example, you're like, okay, move to the right 50. Move to the right 60. It's just gonna keep on doing. So this do it's gonna start it moving, but however, keep this in mind. This is gonna do nothing if you just put the single block. Nothing. Why? Because it's like it's like okay, what motors do you want me to choose? What, what what do you want me to do with this information? You know, it doesn't know. It doesn't know. And then as well, stop moving. All this is gonna do is gonna stop the motors. It's gonna stop the robot's not gonna move anymore. I will set movement to speed. So what this is gonna do is just gonna set the speed to the motors as well as I mentioned before. If you were to just set put this by itself, it's not gonna do anything. Obviously, it's not. There's nothing defined. So remember, remember with motors, you have to define which ones you have to you want to use. Okay. So this is set movement motors to B and C. As you guys remember, in the inputs, it's from A to D. You know, you don't have more than that. You only limit it to four. So this one is like, okay, start set movement motors to B and C. So what this is gonna do is that it's gonna start it at 100%, okay? So for example, if I'm like, okay, you know, like I wanna set movement at 50% and then set movement to motor B and C. So what this is gonna do is gonna start the motors at 50%. Kinda useful, right? So that's, uh, okay. And then if we go, it's like move straight. So as well, straight to the right, to the left, you know, as I said, imagine, imagine it was a steering wheel, exactly like that, you know? And then we have the rotations, degrees and seconds again. However, now we get to as well control the speed. But don't forget this. This is gonna do nothing if you don't define this. For example, you need it to go like this. So movement to B and C, and then straight rotations, you know? And you need to define what motors you want it to use. Because or else, it's, the thing is just gonna be like, um, okay, what do you want? 
Like the ma the machine's not gonna guess what motors. It it doesn't know. It doesn't know what motors it's gonna use if you don't tell it what it's gonna use. So you also have to keep that in mind because that is really useful. Because you might be like, okay, like why 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 is it not doing anything? It's because you need to define the motors that you want to use. If you never define what motors you're gonna use, it's never gonna know. So the second one as well. So move one to rotations, degrees, and seconds. However, now you get control individual motors at what speed you want it to go to. For example, if you're like, okay, I want this one to go at 50 and this one to go at 10. Obviously, the left one's gonna go way faster than the other one, you know? So you have that kind kind of like tank mode, but you know, at the end of the day, it's not really tank mode. And as well as I mentioned before, you still need to define it. You still need to say which ones you want it to use. Because if you don't, it's it's not going to know. It's going to be like, well, what do you want me to do with it? You know? So don't forget that crucial because you might just be like, okay, well, why is it not working? That's why it's not working because you haven't defined it. It's The computer doesn't know. The program is only as smart as the one programming it. So think about that. And then we have start moving straight at 50%. So this is going to, it's going to, so they're gonna start moving in a certain direction at a certain speed. As I mentioned before, you need to still define it. Still define it. Don't forget that. That is crucial. And then start moving at 50, 50. So it's gonna do, for example, if I were to just be like, okay, um, start moving, okay? 50, 50, 50% speed, it's not gonna know. So I'm gonna be like, okay, set movement to right here, you know? It's gonna go at 50%, it's gonna go forward for 90 seconds and it's gonna set it to these two. You see? So you need to think about which motors you want to use. You need to define it. You need to tell it, hey, I want to use these or else it's not going to know. It's not going to know. So you need to think about it like that. And then we go to set movement motors to hold position and stop. So this is what it's going to do. It's for example, the motor stops. It's just going to like, it's just going to basically hit the brakes on the, on the tires. It's going to hit like the e-brake, you know? So it's not gonna move, it's gonna hold the position. However, the float is just gonna essentially leave it freely, you know? Pretty simple. And then set movement speed to 50. So what it's gonna do is gonna set, set the movement of whatever you're using to 50, you know? Instead of being able to control individual ones, this is just for the block to just, it's, it's essentially the same thing as this one right here, you know? It's exactly the same. Same concept, same everything. That's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for movement. There's really not much else. As I mentioned, don't forget to define which motors you want to use. If you don't tell it, it's not going to know. It's not going to know. It's not going to guess. It doesn't know. So you have to think about that. Okay. So before you're like, okay, why, why is this not working? Why, you know, why is it not moving? Like what did he lie to me? No, it's because you have not defined what motors you want to use. And that is crucial. That is crucial. Because if you don't, it's not going to know. You know, you first have to define it in order for it to be like, okay, I'm going to use this one. If you never define it, it's never going to know. So you have to think about that as well. So so this is going to be, this is it for movement. Don't forget, if you want to see the live demo for the movements, remember to click on the link. There's going to be a link provided so you can see me. So, so you guys can see me using all these functions, see it, see the robot move live, how it works and everything, you know? So just in case you're like, oh, is he lying to us? You know, you guys are going to be able to see it live. So it's, it's very useful stuff if you ask me. So yeah, hope, hope you guys learned something and that you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching.